Welcome to part two, and this is going to be the RAM that we chose on our gaming system or slash video editor. I decided to go a Corsair, just eight gigabytes to try for right now, and let's see what these little boogers look like. So we're going to go ahead and open it up real quick. So pull out these things. I got some pretty neat looking heat sinks in there. So we're going to pull it out. And you got two different units. And uh, these things look pretty impressive. Uh, so that's going to look really good inside the case we're going to use. Um, we're probably going to put plexiglass in there by case it's already got the plexiglass installed. So that's pretty sharp looking. looking. This right here is considered your heat sink right here to help cool it down. So um, also we'll end up doing a uh, video for you guys getting into building something to explain the megahertz speeds. Um, timing on these things uh, different ones have different timing and what all it's about and what is 1600 megahertz and what is ddr3 what's ddr2 what is ddr what does ddr stand for all those good things so that will be a separate video but for this one this one was the unboxing of the vengeance pretty uh sexy looking uh ram if i say so myself so hope you guys enjoyed it check back like i said in the description you'll see on these i'll put how they did product that we actually use part numbers etc etc so that way um, I'll probably uh, like I said as I move up as we start using some Adobe After Effects products I'll know pretty much what the machine can do compared to the other ones we've done and um, so I'll test it by using Adobe After Effects um, that's probably one of the most um, demanding systems I've ever used especially if you're using something like um, trap codes particular or some of these other things that are just I mean they they would lock up my laptop sometimes, something fierce. So we have another one that um, turns like little particles into sand grains, and that one's really intensive as well, too. So it seems like the special effects and after effects is the most demanding on your RAM um, when it's trying to roll all that stuff out and put it all together. So anyways, stop back, and I will um, probably do a really cool intro of the system that's built, and I'll show you what it was capable of doing. So I tried eight gigabytes to start with, just to see, make sure I have everything the way I want it. And this one is 1600 megahertz. Um, it's overclockable to 1866 or 2000 with the board I have. So we're gonna give Vengeance a try. And they had a different version. They had a blue and a black. I went with this one right here. So we're gonna try this one first, and like I said, we'll eventually upgrade to the eight gigabyte sticks. Uh, these pretty much had a five star rating on Amazon, and some of the other sticks I was looking at um, are actually three star. So like I said, to get it started, I figured I would start with this one, and we'll move on from there. So check back with all the updates. We're gonna go through and review every product that we use on this build. So, you know, just stay tuned, subscribe today, and check it out, and um, we'll, we'll go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. 1159 videos out.